Welcome back to the Terry Mitchell Show. I'm now joined by junior guard Courtney Weibel. Courtney, good to see you. Good to see you, too. And we were just talking before the interview. It just seemed like yesterday you were a freshman here. Now, three years later, how does it feel? It's weird. It went by so fast. Now, talk about how your role has changed on this team on the court and how you've grown as a player off the court in the classroom. Um, well, on the court, I've really tried to progress my game a little bit to bring it a little farther than just being just a shooter. Um, I've improved my defense quite a bit and I've spent a lot of time in the weight room. Um, so, and then off the court in the classroom, I've just really, I'm studying to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. So I've just really tried to keep my grades up and kind of check in with the rest of my teammates to um, kind of see how they're doing in the classroom. What has been your biggest challenge on the court coming in as a player now three years later? Um, I think just, well, Pretty much my defense. Uh, when I came here, I wasn't very strong and I wasn't very quick. So I've really been working on being able to stop people off the dribble mm -hmm. and just being in the right position on defense. Now your role has changed coming from a, a great standout high school player, one of the best shooters in your state, mm -hmm. to now being more of a role player but mm -hmm. still getting quality minutes at Marquette. How have you made the adjustment? Um, I just have to keep in mind that I'm at a whole different level now. High school, everybody, everybody on our team was a star in high school. Mm -hmm. So. You have to keep that in mind and just keep working hard and do everything you can to help a team. Now, you're going to show us a couple drills today, mm -hmm. but for the young ladies at home wanting to be great shooters when they grow up, what are some of the basic skills that you learned growing up that are so important to remember? Um, I think the most important thing is just one-hand shooting. Just every day when you get in the gym, before you start shooting far out, you have to do one-hand shooting, like three feet out okay. every day, and then just really make sure you shoot the same every single time. Now, you do a lot of individual workouts every day. What's your schedule during the week? Not just practice, but do you come and do a lot of individual workouts on your own? Yeah, it's definitely important to come in and get in the gym when nobody else is around and you can just shoot and stroke your shot while you're here um, on your own without anybody. Now, we don't have a rebounding machine today, but we do have a, another kind of rebounding <laughs> machine. Paige Fedorowicz is going to help us, <laughs> help us out today. So why don't you start out with a close-up shot you were talking about? Okay, so every day when I come in the gym, I just do probably about 50 shots where it's just um, get your shooting hand under the ball, bend your knees, and just extend up. So just about uh, five shots at each spot. Okay. Just nice and easy and just really get um, in your rhythm and work on your form. This would especially be good for those young ladies who might have to start up a little closer. Yeah, definitely. To build that when strength. you don't have your strength yet, it's right. good to start close. Um, and then after that, I'll take a few mid-range shots just to get used to the rims and get my rhythm going. And then after that, since I'm a three-point shooter, I spend a lot of time behind the three-point line just um, my, my routine is to make 100 threes every day. That's what I really try to do. Um, I really try to make them before practice because after practice we're pretty tired. Right. So um, I try to get all my shots in before while I'm still fresh. Okay.